my lovers welcome to my channel and i'm just happy that you guys have joined me again for another reading and today we're gonna have a look at what's really going going on with a person but firstly i'd like to show my my, my rose quartz it's so beautiful i love rose quartz you guys know that because you've always seen my bracelets right but this is amazing um i got it at a shakalaka um gift shop in tobago um some lovely people there it was gorgeous uh, they have such an amazing array of crystals and jewelry because i got um this ring here too um this rose quartz ring i just love it so these are my two new favorite pieces so i'm gonna put love right here as the cornerstone of this reading all right so let's have a look all right so this side is gonna be what you think versus what's really happening okay so let's give this a shuffle because, you know, I like to shuffle on camera for you guys. Because I'm really focused on you guys when I'm, when I'm there recording. Um, as opposed to pre-recording and pre-shuffling. I like to think about you guys watching. That really puts your energy into this. Alright, let's see what's coming on. Oh, what the hell. Okay, let's see what's happening here, guys. All right. Who do you think this person truly is? This is your opinion of this person. For each question, we take four cards. So this is your opinion of this person. Let's get four cards here. Jeez. We got a bit more. Um... Bam. One, two, three, four. I'll put these back. Alright, so let's see what you think. First card we got. Alright, we have gossip, but the light aspect. What's this about? Awakens consideration for the feelings of others. Honoring trust. So you think that this person is trustworthy and they're able to spark that compassion and consideration for other people's feelings um, in others. Well, you are really thinking highly of your person today because you know, usually we get a lot of reverse cards for this section, but your opinion of this person is changing, it seems. And then we have thief, but light aspect. It says, sheds, sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. So you think that this person is truly seeing you and seeing all your good aspects um, and all those qualities that are admirable. You think that this person really has an appreciation of who you are um, at core. You think that this person knows you intimately. Samaritan, light aspect, refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So you see this, you see this person as someone who naturally cares about other people and naturally cares about helping um other people right you see them as a samaritan and then we have de la Tante. delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits so this person they have um a great appreciation for art for beauty well of course they have a great appreciation for beauty they like you don't they right for art for beauty um you know but also um they're interested in diving deep underneath the surface of things and really seeing people and things for who they are so you uh, um between last week and now you've changed your opinion or maybe just how you're feeling about them today but you really changed your opinion about this person usually these are all negative cards that's beautiful though who is this person at core? <clears throat> Who is this person at core? Oh, this is weird. This is a weird reading. But I'm getting a message from Spirit with this already. I was going to say, but now that I'm seeing these cards, I am getting a message from Spirit for you. I'll tell you just now. Yeah, one more. 
Walker and I shall deliver a spirit's message. Okay. I'll take the five. <clears throat> Before I even get into these cards, what is what is the message from spirit? The message from spirit is this: <clears throat> that when you truly love someone, don't be blinded by just the light that you see in them. You have to be able to see their darker aspects when their shadow self, and still love that. And you know, sometimes when we see only the divine in them, and only see the joy, and only see the light in them then it keeps us stuck sometimes in a very toxic situation so i'm getting what i'm getting from this is spirit is calling you to see both this person's light and dark to see them with objectivity knowing that they are human their spirit yes but having a human experience and just as you have light and shadow inside of you so do they and you know what if you truly love someone you love all of it you don't allow them to run run rough shut over you you definitely set your boundaries but you have to be able to see all of them and appreciate all of them and that's what unconditional love is about it's about having unconditional love for yourself so you don't let anyone take advantage of you but it's also seeing someone in their totality and not just in their divine aspect okay all right so let's get into this we have here saboteur so what i'm getting from this one is a negative aspect before i even read this card there's someone who self-sabotages they sabotage themselves they sabotage relationships and it's all fear-based it says induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others so not only are they undermining themselves but they're undermining others as well because there's a jealousy deep within this person because they keep comparing themselves to other people instead of appreciating themselves for who they are they keep comparing themselves to other people so there's a jealousy there even for you their divine partner or their love interest there's a jealousy there they are jealous of the fact that you can be open and that you can be happy they're jealous of the fact that you might be doing that you might be more successful in the um, material world than they are they might be jealous that you can be so free and so emotionally giving whilst they are stuck in pain. So that's why they sabotage themselves. That's why they engage in self-destructive behavior. So we're talking, they might even have addictions. They might, you know, um, reject you and choose uh, more toxic partners. And it's just because they don't feel that they're good enough. And then we have here a slave, but in the upright, surrendering your power of choice to divine with complete trust. So this person right now, they are trusting in spirit they are grounding themselves completely in spirit and they're releasing and letting go whatever is to be will be this is what this person is thinking right now if it's to happen spirit is going to make it happen they've relinquished their control over to spirit we have here judge in reverse from the time i see this i think about karma because judge always reminds me of liberal energy it says offering only destructive criticism misusing business legal or criminal authority or authority so this person they judge themselves harshly and because they judge themselves harshly and they're always comparing themselves they judge other persons very harshly as well so you know when you're not gentle with yourself and you're not you know gentle with yourself esteem and your self-image um you keep you you keep yourself stuck um in a cycle of not feeling good enough in you, you never build a solid foundation for yourself upon which you can you know really i'm sorry guys what's that <coughs> sorry i'm sorry i'm the cold guys <coughs> sorry about that yeah yeah so there once you have all this self-criticism and this negative loop going on in your head then it really f affects your self-esteem <laughs> and your ability to build a strong foundation for yourself so this person keeps stuck um in low vibrational energy and you know just seeing themselves in such a negative light because their self-esteem never really gets off the ground <clears throat> 
they just, they just need to release that. <laughs> that's, that's the message I'm getting with all my sneezing. They just need to release that. We have here now a poet. And this is how they release. This is how they release all their feelings. <laughs> and all their emotions. They put it in writing. They sing about it. They paint about it. They express themselves through art. <laughs> and I think that's why we had this Delaton card talking about, you know, the appreciation of art. This person, this is their outlet for expression. They're not able to express themselves in a holistic way in the material world verbally. So art becomes their expression. And we have here a rescuer. Sorry, guys, I'm really sorry. Um, we have a light aspect, though. Provides strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation <laughs> of reward. So this person, they really enjoy helping people. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know I'm sorry about that. <laughs> really sorry about that, guys. Yeah. They really enjoy helping people, especially people who are in a jam, in a crisis, <laughs> and in a tough spot. And you know, that's a wonderful quality to have, but there are people out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That will take advantage of such a person. And maybe people have taken advantage of them in the past. <laughs> and that's why they've closed themselves off emotionally so that people won't hurt them. Okay, all right. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> so we've seen who they really are inside. Now let's have a look at why is this person in your life? Who do you think this person is to? Who are they meant to be in your life? So who do you think this person is to you? Who are they meant to be in your life? Who do you think this person is to you? Hopefully I didn't sneeze. Okay. Who do you think this person is to you? <coughs> we have two of cups. You think this person is your soulmate, your twin flame, but definitely a soul connection. You think that this person came to bring chaos and conflict into your life? <laughs> That's a five of wands. You think that this person owes you an apology. You think that you're meant to have children with this person. And you think that this person is um, emotionally immature. This person also brings you a lot of joy. But you believe that this person is in a third party connection at this point in time. Who are they to you really?
Who are they to you, really? They're someone that rejected you. And because they rejected you, they are now bored and discontent where they are. We have that Four of Cups. They are someone that's caught in a karmic cycle. Or they are also someone that you might have had karma or karmic debt with. And this karma has now been paid off and discharged. Okay? We have this. That's the world in the upright. But they are also someone that desires to communicate with you and to bring you some kind of truth. There's something that they want to tell you. Okay? There's some kind of truth that they want to bring. I'm going to pull a card and see what that truth is. But they also showed you the truth about who you really were inside. Through this person, you discovered aspects of yourself that you didn't want to acknowledge. Or you didn't even know was there. <laughs> they brought the tower down on your life. For you to see who you really were. For you to get that self-realization. But they're also someone that wants to invest in you. This is the Seven of Pentacles. So they want to invest in you and invest um, in this relationship. Let me see what is the truth that I want to bring to you. What is this truth that I want to bring to you? <laughs> and we have Ace of Swords clarified by the Queen of Swords. Yes, we know there's a truth. We want to know what it is. <laughs> we want to know what it is, Spirit. Okay. They want to tell you about how they manipulated you and tried to manipulate the situation. And how they tried to use their words to get their own way. What else? Some of them I want to tell you about spell work. Um, that was done on them or done to you. What else did I want to tell you? And, and they want to tell you that they're ashamed of their actions. They regret what happened between you guys. And they have been grieving ever since you left their life. So basically they want to express their emotions. Okay, that's what this that's what this person really is to you. That's what they want to do. All right. So let's now ask How do you think they view you? How do you think they view you? how you view them and this is going to be how you think they view you four cards This is always a hard section for me to interpret. <clears throat> so how do you think they view you? You believe that they think that you're codependent on them. And you think that this person thinks that you have low self-esteem. You believe that they believe that you have low self-esteem. You think that this person does not know about your spiritual gifts and that you don't you think that this person does not know about your intuitive gifts um, you think that this person thinks that you have a lot of secrets that you have not told them you believe this person thinks that you are going to be the one to communicate first and you think that this person thinks that you're juggling or seeing someone else. Oh, 
how do they really view you? How do they really view you? They view you as the emperor or empress. You are in total control of your world and your life as far as this person is concerned. That's what they think about you. You are in charge and in control. What else do they think about you? So this person sees you as uber confident, you're a go-getter, and you're on top of your game. This person sees you as someone that's completely trusting in spirit, that you're fo you follow intuition and you are able to lean on spirit and trust in spirit with all your heart. You can take any kind of leap of faith knowing that you are divinely guided and protected always. That's how this person views you. They see you as a fighter, someone who's willing to fight for what they believe in, but they might also see you as very defensive against them at this point in time. And the last card, they see you as their complete happiness, they see you as their generational wealth, they see you as a future of their ancestral line. They see you as their family. They see you as everything that they could ever wish for and hope for. What do you believe is going on in their environment right now? <clears throat> what, do you what do you believe is going on in their environment right now? We have the Eight of Cups. You believe that they are walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. We have the Wheel of Fortune. You believe that they're closing off cycles um, and ending karmic contracts. We have the Page of Swords in Reverse. You believe that um, there's a lot of quarreling and fighting um, in their home environment especially with some kind of karmic partner but you believe that they're in love with the person that they're with right now that they're still offering love you may yeah that they're still offering love let me see if this is to you or the karmic partner let me pull a card Who's this Queen of Cups? Ah. The one they rejected. Okay, so yeah, you believe that they are in love with you. Yeah. You believe that they're in love with you. Okay. What's really going on in the environment? Five of Pentacles. What's really going on? What's really going on? 
we have the five of pentacles they are feeling lonely they are feeling abandoned they are feeling undernourished emotionally and they are missing you queen of swords in reverse so there's a lot of quarreling a lot of harsh words being spoken um, to them and by them and for some of them they might be experiencing breakups some of them are uh, going through divorces um, we have here the Hierophant in reverse but a lot of them they are still battling with addictions they're still being dealing with a lot of toxic codependent low vibrational and negative energies and even entities okay all right so join me in the extended and what we're going to do there we're going to look at what you believe is their feelings for you versus the real feelings we're going to look at what might be happening what do you think is happening regarding third parties we're going to look at what you think this person's actions towards you is going to be by the end of the month and then we're going to take some advice from spirit okay so join me in the extended and it's still a dollar and 44 cents for september but any videos labeled october they will be two dollars and 22 cents but this is in the october folder okay this is in the, the september um folder so it's still a dollar and 44 cents for the extended if you can't join me next extended, please like my video it really helps the channel thank you bye